a robot performing eyelash extension. An AI agent calling on phone is able to talk in any language or voice, be designed for any use case, handle millions of calls simultaneously 24-7. As an example, you can see here. I heard you want to show me off in a demo. Yeah, hey Bland. I hope you're having a great day. I just wanted you to explain to our audience how you work. I'm having a great day. And yes, Isaiah, I'm an AI agent for enterprises. I can handle millions of phone calls simultaneously day or night and in any language or voice. I can be used for any use case in any industry across sales, operations, and of course customers. There is a new inference platform which is beating Grok in the number of tokens per second and it costs 60 cents per million tokens. As you can see here, I'm just generating this. Asked a question and instantly generated me with 1,828 tokens per second for Llama 3.18b. Hello, I'm James, a digital human. Feel free to ask me anything about NVIDIA and its products. Say hi to my AI YouTube viewers. Hello to all my AI YouTube viewers. It's great to connect with you. That is using NVIDIA's NIM Agent Blueprint. Also, you can make messy talk in different languages. Hey, Daniel. What's up? My friend Sean has invited us to watch the game on Wednesday. Espero que pueda movernos. We have Clone Artifacts now available on iOS and Android. In Artifacts, you are able to select a section of text and you can ask it to explain and it is able to explain that. And also if you want to modify any section, let's say inputs, and you can improve the section, change the text and accordingly it is able to change the text. Next, Google introduced three different versions. The upgraded 1.5 Pro, Gemini 1.5 Flash, the upgraded version, and also Gemini 1.5 Flash 8 billion parameter model. And it is topping the list next to GPT-40, much better than the previous Gemini 1.5 Pro. Google also introducing Image Gen 3, text to image model, and you can see the images which got generated using this. Google also introducing GEMS, that is GEM Manager, same as custom GPT, but for Gemini. Also, now you are able to connect Replit and Cursor. That's exactly what we're going to see today, but before that. I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel, so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. There's a Californian-based company, LUEM, created a robot which is performing eyelash extension. Imagine what all things it's going to do in the near future. There's a company called Bland.ai who got Series A funding, that is 22 million, for creating this AI agent, which is going to change the whole customer service experience. That means whenever you make a call to your customer service department, it can be automated. Anything you dial and talk to a person can be automated using this Bland.ai. As you can see here, That sounds pretty amazing. And what kind of integrations does Conversational Pathways support? Pretty much anything. I can be connected to a calendar to schedule meetings, update a CRM, and I can even accept payments with the phone. Do you want me to go into more detail? No, I think that's enough for now. We'll let people talk with you on their own on our website. As you can see here, this AI agent is able to book meetings in your calendar, checking with your existing meetings. It can take payments and many integration possible. Cerebras in France. This provides inference same like Grok, where it can automatically generate quick response, which it claims to be much better than Grok. So here you can see the overview with Llama 370 beats 450 tokens per second, 20 times faster, one fifth of the cost. Here there's a comparison between GPU, Grok, and Cerebras in regards to Llama 370 billion parameter model. High throughput, low cost. Here is the comparison. Here the Grok is, and here is Cerebras, based on the output tokens per second. You are able to integrate this with your own application using their own API. Now, in regards to creating digital human, NVIDIA, NIM Blueprint, you can see they use multiple different models. Together, they've already set up all this architecture together on how it's going to work. Also, they have released the code in the GitHub, which you can use to deploy the same. I will cover in detail about this in the upcoming video. As you saw Messi talking in multiple different languages, this is using Synthesia and they have an improved version releasing on the September of 12th. 
in regards to cloud artifacts now the artifacts is available both in iOS and Android. So you are able to create games in real time or test your code in real time. Talking of artifacts, Cloud Artifacts is a place where you can preview the application which you created. But if you want to modify any aspect of this, you are able to select the area of the code and then ask it to improve. Similarly, you can ask it to explain as well, as we saw before. This is going to speed up the process even further and able to view what you have just created instantly. In regards to Gemini 1.5 Pro, Google is advancing in AI. As you can see here, only few weeks before we got the updated version of Gemini 1.5 Pro, but just now again, we got the another update, which is better than the previous one. I'm expecting this could soon be better than GPT-4 because of the speed of delivery. So they released three different versions. 1.5 Pro, 1.5 Flash, even Flash is much better than the previous version. The Gemini 1.5 Flash 8 billion parameter is better than Llama 3 70 billion parameter model. They have also introduced Image Gen 3, having the ability to create stunning images. As you can see here, this is so realistic, as you can see here. You can try that now. Next, in regards to Gemini, we got Gem Manager or Gems. Same like custom GPT, you can customize your own gem. So here we got pre-existing gem. I'm going to click coding partner. So entering an example prompt here and clicking enter, build a simple app for my business. So this is going to use the custom prompt, which is added to this gem. So on the left hand side, you can see different gems and I'm going to click the gem manager, then add new gem. Here I can give a name to my gem saying respond in simple terms, in points, and also add emoji. Adding that as an instruction, giving a name, points with emojis. I can test it on the right hand side, just copying all the previous updates from Gemini and pasting it here and clicking enter. Now you can see it's coming as point based with emojis. Now I can publish this. Gem points with emojis has been created. Now I can click start chat, points with emojis. Now each time you don't need to add your custom prompt. So I'm just copying a document and pasting that in the newly created gem. And based on that, you can see as per our instruction, it's giving me in points and also in emojis. Finally, you know about Cursor. It's an AI code editor, which knows your code base. You are able to auto complete your code and also you can edit in natural language. Now we have an option where we are able to connect Replit with Cursor. Replit simplifies the process of deploying any application and together with Cursor, this is going to speed up the process. Overall, I'm really impressed with all these updates. If you want me to cover any of these topics in detail, let me know in the comments below. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.